What's going on everybody? Welcome to Dumber Thoughts. I'm Guns For Hire from You Always Win. And this is a show where we talk about video game topics. Not necessarily just what's in the news, but just, you know, let's talk about stuff. Stuff, because this is what binds us together. This is what you and me have in common. Now, in Dumb Thoughts, which was done by Meatwagon22, he talked about, you know, what was your first console and what do video games do for you? Now, if you're new to the show, basically we bounce off each other. So when he does one, he brings up a topic and in the beginning of each of my episodes, I talk about what he brought up and then I bring up a new topic and then he responds and vice versa. So he brought up, the first question that he asked was, what was your first console? Well, my first console, like real gaming console, other than Pong, which was, you know, like the little sticks back and forth with the little square ball going bang, bang, bang. I, if you want to argue that was a console, then fine, that was my first one. But what I considered to be my first console was the Atari 2600. Ooh, that dates me. And maybe the burly Paul Bunyan, I'm going to chop the wood down. I'm in the forest. Hey, uh, where's all the animals? I know the beard's giving it away. Burliness makes me look like a man. That's why I do it. I trick people. I'm like, I'm a man. Um, so, <laughs> the Atari 2600. Uh, it was my first console. I loved it. And at that time, what it gave, what it did for me back then, and what it does for me now, has changed dramatically. Back then, it was, you know, to escape things. And I know many of you, and I'm not gonna, you know, dwell too much on this, but my childhood wasn't the easiest either. I know Meatwagon brought that up. And for me, video games was a way to escape it, even as simple as Atari 2600 was. When I got my first Nintendo, the original Nintendo Entertainment System, that's when I realized just how fun video games can be and how involved in the stories. And it was, although the graphics weren't near what they are today, I was still able to immerse myself in it. The story, I felt for the, my character and it was exciting. And throughout, uh, you know, the history up to now, I've owned a lot of consoles. I'm really into PC gaming now too, which is something oddly enough I wasn't into back then. But I had the 2600, I had a ColecoVision, the Nintendo, a Sega, Sega Genesis, the Sega Mega Drive, then the PlayStation, the PlayStation 2. Um, I rented an Xbox, didn't really get into it. I Even then, I didn't like the controller. What can you do? Uh, then I said PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360 now, and now I PC game. So video games, I've been video gaming for a long time, uh, and, and I absolutely love it. What was sort of an escape back then is now just more me entertaining myself and having fun, but it's more than that. For me, video games has changed my life and changed my family's life. It means so much more to me than just entertaining myself, which I love video games. I love what they are now, this interactive movie-like experience, but you know, it, it's allowed me to have fun and escape the corporate life. I mean, I used to be a casualty claims adjuster. I used to stress out. I worked in law firms uh, as, a, as a consultant for lawyers and, and prepared cases for them. You know, uh, traumatic brain injuries, pediatric injuries for, for children, and it was stressful. And all of a sudden I got into this and I'm like, oh man, I'm enjoying my life again. And it's all thanks to video games. So for me, video games are super important. And as you can see, it's clearly changed. What I want to get into now, because this is actually part of the lineage, with every new console that came out, I was excited to see because it was so drastically different. From the Atari 2600 to the Nintendo, the difference between the games was like, wow, look at this, always improving. And then the Sega Genesis, you know, amped it up again. Granted, I actually preferred and had more fun with the original Nintendo, because that's what Nintendo, you're good, Nintendo. You are good with the Mario. I actually had more fun with the 8-bit versus the 16-bit Genesis, but I still liked the Genesis. I was excited for it because it was such a drastic change. And then we go into the PlayStation, the PlayStation, which again was like, whoa, look at all these games. Like this, they're really amping it up. And then the PlayStation 2 blew my mind. That's when I really was like, holy mackerel. I am a video game addict. I'm a nerd. I don't care. Call me a nerd. Doesn't bother me as long as you don't take away my video game system. And this sort of, as Meaty would say, would segue into to what I want to talk about, and that is the next-gen systems. And my, my topic is, what games are you most looking forward to in the next-gen systems? You know what I mean? There's going to be changes to it. They're going to be able to improve it. They're going to be able to improve the engines, the lighting, the immersion, how you know, detailed, whether it's co-op, how much they offer in these games. And, and it's exciting for me. Just like back in the days from each transition to, you know, like 8-bit to 16-bit to 32-bit, blah, 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 and keeps going up and up and up. 
I am excited for it. But for me, I don't actually have a particular game. I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this. For me, it's all about new IPs, brand new games, new franchises that have never existed before. That's what I look forward to. Because with, I, I, was it the PlayStation? No, it was PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3, when Uncharted came out, I was like, holy mackerel. That, for me, that was like, wow, they really took it up to the next level. It was exciting. And don't get me wrong, I'd love to see a, another Uncharted. And as a matter of fact, uh, when I was looking at, you know, news, I always look at video game news, I look at it every single day. There was what looked to be leaked images of pirate type characters when they were talking about The Last of Us, which, and they're speculating that it's actually um, Naughty Dog's next generation, the PS4 game. But they look like pirates because they're like, that has nothing to do with The Last of Us. The Last of Us is in the 21st century. These are buccaneers. Nothing to do with them unless they came across a clothing store and some people were in like, hey, look, we're pirates. <laughs> Highly unlikely. Does that mean that an Uncharted 4 is coming out and it's going back to, what is it, uh, I can't, Sir Francis Drake, his, you know, his relative before Nathan Drake was in there. That's exciting. But more exciting for me, as I said, I want to see new IPs. I want to see new games that we've never seen before. And I want to see them completely embraced and utilized to the full capacity of the next generation uh, hardware in there. Now, if you're a PC gamer, you may not actually be too excited because obviously with PC games, especially exclusives to the PC game, they're already more or less implementing next gen. They can already do that if they're not worried about you know, multi-platform, putting it on an Xbox or a PlayStation, they're not concerned about the limited technology because they can already utilize that next gen. You know, I say next gen because it's already here. The stuff that they're putting in the next gen systems, maybe it's slightly above that line, you know, so that they can last in the 10 year sort of cycle that they have. But let's face it, PC is already always ahead of the game. So for me, it's, there is no particular one. Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty, but you know what, I'd like to see something new. I'm not saying that I won't buy it, and if they do next gen and uh, Treyarch and Infinity Ward really amp it up, I'm interested to see what they do, but I'm more excited for the ones that we don't even know about. Anyway, that's it, that's my sort of opinion. What, what are you guys looking forward to? Are you looking forward to next gen FIFA or any of those other sport games or something completely new? You know what I mean? Leave your comments below and meaty, what are you looking forward to in the next gen? What type of games?